What is going on, you guys? What's happening, everybody? This is Wilson's Collections. Um, what you are looking at right now is a 57 Chevy Bel Air Gasser that I have redid with paint, rims, and engine. It is really cool. It took me a while to get it looking like this, but end product is really good. I'm really proud of this one. I mean, some people may say it's shabby, but hey, whatever. Let's see them. Let's see them uh, do this all. Sorry if it's uh, I'm not loud enough. It's a little bit rainy out here today. Um, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys what I have in the mail. I wanted to wait until everything got here, but I'm too excited and. I want to make the video now while I'm fresh in the mood. Um, I'm gonna lay out what you guys all know are the ga the uh, supers that I have already that are my, my previous videos. Like I said, I'm gonna lay them all out every time I get one some some new ones. But um, let me set this over here. Um, there's the uh, Porsche Charger Daytona. Um, I got some Protecto cases for this one now. The, uh, Toyota Off-Road Truck Super. Um, this is the Chevelle SS Super. Love that car. Um, this is the 67 Chevy Nova Station Wagon. I love this car, too. I love them all basically well there's one in the bunch that i got today that i do not care for it too much okay Whoop, shoot all right all right start from the bottom all right we got a i'm not sure what year this is i think this is a 2014 treasure super treasure hunt but this is the custom 77 dodge van I got this. This is a really cool. I look. I, I saw this on the internet, and I was like, "Man, I have to have that." Treasure hunt monkeys. Uh, I guess that's their address. San Santana Speed Springs, California. This is a really cool piece for my collection. Really cool. The grill, perfect. It's got the little. It's got the moon roof up there. I don't know if you. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I guess. There's the sunroof, the moonroof, whatever you want to call it. There's your peeping eyes for... not really sure what those eyes mean, but still cool looking with them uh, futuristic looking rims. I like this. This is really cool. Um, I have the uh, 1970 Plymouth Superbird. I believe this is a 2016 tre Super Treasure Hunt that I've acquired. This is this year. I want to complete all of them, which I know is really hard to do because there's a lot of rare ones out there. I wanted to wait to do this video when my um my uh, 57 Chevy Gasser or Bel Air Gasser showed up. The super uh, super treasure hunt came in the mail, but I got too excited and I figured I'd make a video here. Focus, focus. It's not like anybody's never seen these things, but. This is a really cool piece. I saw a guy on my Instagram. He uh he had two or three of these, and he cracked it open. And I I could never crack these things open. That's just me though. Like I could never. Once I open it, it's not it's not cool to me anymore. I get bored with it, and I end up putting it in a drawer and never look at it again. At least like when I have them not open, I look I like to look at them in their packages and their protective cases and whatnot. Uh, this is a um. 1952 Hudson Hornet Super Treasure Hunt. Really cool. I haven't acquired this piece. It's my first one. I'm going to focus. There, there it goes. In and out. Alright. Yep, there it is. There's a custom looking uh, real riders. Nothing too special about it. Nothing too rare. I've seen a couple of videos, or um, not videos, but um, ones people were selling where the 28... I believe it's 28. What was that 20? Yeah, the 28 on the car was smeared. It was like an error of the car, so everybody thought it'd be worth a lot more. But to me, I really don't see that being making it worth a lot more. But that's just my opinion. Um, and not that nobody, not that nobody's ever seen it, but your everyday Tesla Roadster. 
Super 2016. Nothing too special about it, really. I mean, it's a mint card. I had to have it just to say that I have one for my collection. It's part of the 2016 uh, Super Treasure Hunt uh, series. So, of course, I had to have it. Um, mint card. I put uh, prote it was I came it came mint to me in the mail. I bought it off eBay. Um, I had to put the protective case on it. It didn't come with one, but the card is still mint. Like there's no rips, nothing. Like not even wrinkled or anything. Straight off the out of the box looking mint. But um, that's today's find. I also have the rims for. Hold on, I'll open up the uh, restoration for the 60, the 67 Camaro. So I finally got the rims. Those are the back ones, and these are the front ones. Really sick looking. I waited forever for these to get the mail. I have tons of people asking me on uh, my Facebook, on the pages I uh, post and whatnot, when I'm going to do that, when I'm going to get it done. I was like, It'll, I'm going to get it done, I promise. Once I get these uh, rims, it's on. Now that I got the rims, I'm back to work on it. So uh, I just got to uh, put those on it, put some decals. I also bought some paints today, some basic paints. That's the outline, the headlights, and the tail lights. Give it a little 3D look. Here's the headlight paint, yellow. I, I want to paint the um, brake lights, orange, with the outline with black. Um, paints are really hard. To, the exact color you want to find is really hard to find because I already had. I didn't want to leave them red because the car is already red. I want to put a little stance or a little bit of a uh, little bit of taste onto the car. So uh, I figured I'd buy the orange to make the tail lights orange. Um, I got a really really thin thin, really really thin bit of focus. There it goes really thin um, paintbrush so I can detail it. You, you, people try to do these um, decals or tempos on these cars. They just use too wide of a brush and it just smears and it doesn't look tasteful. It doesn't look anything. It doesn't look good to me. That's just my opinion. Some people like that work. Some people don't. I'm, I'm one that don't. But I just bought this really, really thin one. I went over to Hobby Lobby. Everybody go over to Hobby Lobby if you're doing these resto mods and you know, upgrades and everything on your Hot Wheels and whatnot. These, they have anything you need from the paint to the uh, rims. These ain't, these rims didn't come from there, but those rims came from Hobby Lobby. These rims did. Oops, move that out the way. They are decent looking rims. Nothing too special about them, but they have a little red, uh, red wall on it. You can barely see it because I've rubbed it off. But those tires are uh, cheaply made. These ones are. I like these ones because these are you can really see the red, and that's what's cool. It's gonna match the paint job really nice. But um, that's about it for everything that I have. Um, I, I was really excited. I like I said, I wanted to make the video on everything that I've uh gotten today, but I really wanted to wait until I got to the um my uh chef my '57 Gasser uh Super Treasure Hunt, but. I got excited with these ones that came, and I figured I'd make a video on it and show everybody, keep everybody posted on my projects and what's happening, what's going on. Um, that's about it for right now. I'll try to make an. I think I don't know if I'll make another video or not on the uh, 57 Gasser, but um, I may. I probably will because I probably have a lot accumulated by then. But uh, either way, if you want to check out my Instagram, that's Wilson's underscore Collections, all uh, capital letters. You can see all the pictures before I make uh, – it's always on my Instagram before it is on my uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to go by there, give me a few likes, follow me for uh, – keep you updated. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, this is Wilson's Collection. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Y'all have a good one.